Do you ever feel like your life is spinning all over the place? Like one big roller coaster ride? I've discovered many times life does not always go as planned and it doesn't always make sense. But honestly, how exciting would life be if everything went right every single time? Of course, once in a while, it's natural to dream that our life is like a character in a book or a movie. However, there is a reason life appears perfect in movies. It's so people will pay to watch them. It's easy to make life work out perfectly in fiction, but it's a lot harder for life to actually work out perfectly in reality. Dealing with the unexpected, though, can cause you to trust in God. It also makes you think on your feet and pray without ceasing. As Christians, we turn to our faith when things are looking bleak. Faith and fate are very different. I once heard it said that fate was like a strange, unpopular restaurant filled with odd waiters who bring you items you never asked for and don't always like. Stop trying to figure out why life doesn't make sense and start figuring out how to deal with it. Smooth sailing would be ideal, right? But maybe not. You'll never know what you can handle if you're never tested. Don't expect things to just come your way. Sometimes you have to push yourself in order to grow as a person. When bad stuff happens to you, learn from it. And don't be blind to other people's dilemmas. If a friend has gone through something hard, take lessons from that too. You may save yourself the trouble of having to experience it as well. We can learn from our own mistakes or from the mistakes of others. But when we don't learn from either one of those lessons, we become like gerbils on the wheel called the vicious circle. Step back and take a look at yourself. Would you want someone to have your attitude? Are you generally happy, optimistic, and enthusiastic about life? Or are you generally frustrated, pessimistic, and bored with life? It is true, attitudes are contagious. Think about that person you know that can walk into a room and make everyone smile. You celebrate their arrival. Now think about the person who comes in the room and gets blank stares because people know that they are going to bring the mood down. Which person are you? If you are feeling bored and frustrated with your life, take a second to think about why you might be feeling this way. Is it your career or your relationship? Perhaps it's time to think about your purpose, your values, and your beliefs, and begin restructuring your life. I once heard it said, wherever we are, it is but a stage on the way to somewhere else. And whatever we do, however well we do it, it is only a preparation to do something else that shall be different. Think of 8-tracks, cassettes, and CDs, MP3s and podcasts, and don't sweat the small stuff. Life lessons come with life skills. They can be learned. Some people have problems being assertive. If you have a problem being assertive, chances are you could let people take advantage of you in some way. Is it your professional life? Is someone telling you to do their grunt work when you're not their assistant? If someone's really in need of help, that's a different story. If you are being bullied because they know you will do it, nip that in the bud. What about your educational life? Are you the group member stuck staying up at night to finish the report? What about your family life? Are you always doing something for others and never finding time for yourself? If any of these situations sounds like you, you might need the life lesson on assertiveness. Being assertive is not the same as being aggressive. Assertiveness is a personal leadership quality that will take you far in life. God is for you and you can do this. In life, what you want done for you, do for others. If you want your friends to start calling you, start calling them. If you want your spouse to tell you how much he appreciates you, tell him first. Life is not lost by dying. Life is lost second by second, minute by minute, day by dragging day, in a thousand small uncaring ways. 
This is Linda Lewis, seeking to be a contented person because they can enjoy the scenery on a detour.